Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, welcome back to another exciting episode of Tropa Tech. In this episode, I told you guys we were going to deal with some awesome stuff. And that stuff that I said we were going to deal with was going to be industrial craft. But I feel a little bit on the iffy side about that because, and here's the thing, I feel that this season has been a little bit unorganized. Not only that, I feel that this area where I'm in is way too small for the base that I want. It's really just, it's the smallest base that I could ever build. I mean, it's horrible. And no matter how far I could go up for all the machines that I'm going to want in this episode, or the season, I'm, I'm sorry, the season, it's not going to cut it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to work on getting uh, more EMC so we can get the Mercurial Eye. Actually, we have enough right there. Never mind. And why are we wanting the Mercurial Eye? Because that's a part of EE that will help us out specifically in the way, in the manner of allowing, well, really, what just happened? Oh, I guess I automatically switched out. It'll allow for us to be able to, um, first we need to get some diamonds. There we go, we got 17 diamonds. Now I'm going to throw this up here and we need some alchemical coal. It'll allow for us to build stuff quicker and faster, a lot faster than what we're used to building stuff. So, we need, uh, six of those actually, so. ah, Let me just put a couple. Seven? That, that's still going to fill it up, isn't it? Ah, really? I'll just take that out real quick. Get some more of that. I really need to upgrade my client stars too. That would help. That would help out quite a bit. Oh, there we go. Alright, now do I have my uh, god stopper on me? <laughs> my god stopper, I do! Sweet! Okay, so we're gonna just put three right there, three right there, and there we go. We're also gonna need some bricks. Which I don't even know if I have any bricks on me. No, I don't have any bricks on me. Let's go get some bricks real quick. While we need bricks is because the Mercurial Eye takes bricks for some reason. I don't know why it just does. So let's see if I have any spare bricks on me. Spare bricks, anyone? Spare bricks. Can you spare some bricks, please? Bricks sparing, please. Really? Do I have any clay? I gotta have at least one ball of clay. I can do a lot with one ball of clay if I had one ball of clay. Come on, nearby, get one ball of clay. Uh, no, we don't have even one ball of clay. That's sad. I guess we'll go, let me make sure it's not my trans table first. So I'm gonna put that in there, and that in there. And I don't think it would be because I did uh, the uh, red alloy furnace before I started with EE, so yeah. I'm pretty sure I don't have it in there. So let me go ahead and bring some bowls with us for food, for some food. I know we had enough so we could make the uh, gem of, or not the gem of internal density. We had enough so we could make the swift wolf rendering gale. But this is more important, guys. This is building blocks. Swift wolf will be next. Whoa, what's with the lag, buddy? Uh, where are you, Clay? There's usually some right here. Is that some? No, it's sand. I just need like one thing of clay is all I need. All these horses around me, they're so awesome. Pony horses, whatever you want to call them. I was going to say ponies. I don't know why I was going to say ponies. I have my own pony bike, wherever it is. Let's just take this with us for now. Oh, come on, Clay. It's usually on the sides. Seems like it's kind of hard to see. That might be it, but it's not, I don't think. Ooh, wow. You know what that is, don't you guys? See, it's sand. Sand probably passing over some of it right now that's clay isn't it it's got to be clay I swear that's clay yep why does it sound like sand when you hit it clay doesn't sound like that does it maybe that's just me who knows all right so uh one first request was from uh, XZ mean or meme my bad and he said, make an automatic darkroom tutorial, please. So I think in this episode, I'll at least show that so we'll get more EMC so we can get some more power, powerful tools in EE. But uh, other than that, we're gonna make the mercurial eye as well. So we're gonna come over here and make some bricks real quick in our furnace. We'll just throw this clay up there. All we really need is one because we can use the uh, power of the transmutation tablet to turn anything into anything so that's awesome captain oblivious 31 said uh swift wolf rendering gale is that a ring that lets you render videos faster 
Oh, uh, I hope you're. I hope you're just joking. You're probably actually being serious. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> By the way, it is definitely not a ring that lets you render videos faster. But that'd be cool, though. That would be very cool if that was possible. No, uh, what it does is it allows you to fly using energy from EE. All right. Now we'll just uh, look up the recipe for this real quick for the uh, right here. Oh, we need some obsidian. We already have the diamond, so all we need now is the obsidian. And I think we've actually, excuse me if I get the buttons wrong today, guys. I don't know if you know this. Actually, I haven't told you this yet. Of course you don't know this. I uh, got a new keyboard in, so yeah. I'm just now getting used to it. It's like riding a bike for the first time, you know? You're so used to something for the longest time. I've been used to my old Dell keyboard for the longest time, and now I've actually switched to a gaming keyboard. So there is the Mercurial Eye, and it takes from the Client Star, so that's awesome. That means we probably might want to start continuing upgrading our Client Star, which we already have a Client Star Xi. Uh, what you, whatever you want to call it, I think it's a Xi. See if we can upgrade that one. See, there's another iron, but I don't need another iron. I want to power that even further. If I put both of those in there. There we go. And now we're going to need a lot more power to go past that, probably. But we have uh, three of them now. I think that's what it is. Let me put my bag inside of my bag just for the heck of it. Yeah, we got three of them now, so we just need to upgrade one more time. And we'll be able to uh, upgrade to the next type of client star. But for right now, this is a good one. I like this one. So how this works is we actually have to press C uh, and put our client star inside of it. And then we have to target something. So what we want to build with. Say we want cobble. Or just smooth stone. So now if I hit right click. Alright, this should be working. Let me make sure I'm in the right mode. There we go. Creation mode. Transmutation. See how it transmute it? Transmute it? Pillar extension. I have no clue what that does. Whoa, that's actually okay. That was probably not a good idea. That was on very low usage too. You see how much that extended? Wow. Ah, uh, that's not gonna be good, guys. That's gonna be a lot of digging through to get rid of all this stuff. <laughs> that was. That's a long pillar extension. I can say that. Wow just gonna chop some of this up this isn't our main home anyways we're gonna build a skyscraper like I promised guys but it's gonna be a big one because I want a big foundation and I'm gonna spend a lot more time on decorating because the other one is not very decorative and what we're gonna do is as soon as it's built at least the first couple of layers we're gonna take a destruction catalyst which I don't know if we have yet I think we have a destruction catalyst do we yes we do we're gonna take my destruction catalyst and just spill over every bit of the last place because it was boring, wasn't it? It's totally boring. This is boring, chopping away at this stuff. But hey, we're going to have to do it just to, just for a little bit longer. Just to get it out of our area. That, man, that pillar extension is freaking powerful, isn't it? Alright, that's good. <laughs> I guess I can just go to this side if I really needed to do to go there. Alright, let's change it out of that so it doesn't go back into there. Extension, creation, transmutation. Don't ever do a pillar extension, ever. But the uh, main purpose of this is so I can actually just, when it's on creation, I should be able to right-click over water. Or am I? No, I'm going to actually have to build out to the water. But we'll be able to successfully, once I powerful power it up, we'll be able to... Uh, whoa, that's a big stingray. I've never seen him that big. That's crazy. We'll be able to make a huge building. But you also wanted to see this thing in work as it's supposed to be. As it's supposed to work. So, I'm just going to take this small little area and use it for an example. I can't destroy water, can I? The best way to do that, uh... Hmm. I'm trying to think of the best way to get rid of all the annoying water. Oh yeah, build up all that to diamonds. Sweet. I think what I'm going to do to get rid of the water is... Charge that up. Get my destruction catalyst out. I need to keep my bags in this layer so it doesn't mess up on me. And then I'm just going to... I just need to get rid of a little bit of water. There 
There we go. It's a little bit of water. And you might ask why I need to get rid of that water is because we're going to actually be putting machines and stuff down there. I could just build the dark room somewhere else, but it's already pre-built for us right here, so there's no real need to build it somewhere else. So right down here is where we're going to have our actual uh, deployer. And see if I have a deployer. Yes, we have a deployer. And then we need the uh, transposers is what we're going to have to build as well. So what I'm going to do right down here is... There we go. And I'm gonna just going to jump up. Put that right there. So that's going to be ticking away. I just have to bring some redstone or some red alloy wire if I have any. Do I have any? Oh, yes, I do. I have 25. Look at that. We'll just have to bring that around. So it hits that. Actually, you know what? We'll just make the, the tubes. Uh, red alloy tubes. So we don't have to worry about that. So let's make some transposers real quick. Come in here and see what we need to make some transposers. It's been a while since I made transposers, I think. Transposer. Alright, we're going to need a uh, piston, some cobble, and some redstone and wood. Piston, cobble, redstone, and wood. And I think we have some redstone. Yep, we got some redstone. All we need now is probably just a piston. Piston or two and we should be good. There's five pistons. That's good. We only need like four. Uh, okay, so... We're going to put the cobble on the top row. And on the bottom row. And redstone where? Redstone right there. Pistons in the middle. And wood on the sides. And we're just going to make four of those. Awesome. Now we got the transposers. And now I need more of this brass stuff. How much more of the uh, tubes do we have? Oh, we got 30. You know what? I could do with some more of that, though. Do I have any more glass in here? Oh, uh, we got one piece. Let me go ahead and get a couple more pieces of glass. There we go. Put the glass up there in the middle. Split this so we can get some more of those. And then I'll just pop back over here. Put all that stuff back except for these. And there we go. Now we have 46. That should be enough. The only thing else we need is a timer, which I think I was making a timer out of one of these. Maybe I was actually making a timer in there. No, I, was, I swear I was making a timer somewhere else. I think I was making it... Did I make it close to over here? No, I don't, I don't even have one over here. Never mind then. No, it's making a timer somewhere. Now it's like irritating me. I know there's a timer somewhere around here. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make this thing. Oh. Whoa. How, how was that stuff in the deployer? I have no clue how that stuff was in the deployer, but I'm glad I got it out. All right. So basically, this is just going to recycle the bone mill, is what this is going to do. That's why we need that tube there. So we can recycle the bone mill and send it back down. And I probably want to put it down on the bottom, now that I think about it. Oh, this is going to take forever. I should just use the destruction catalyst, but I don't want to make mistakes. Which I'm bound to do. Oh, come on. Pointless. This is pointless. But I'm pretty sure this is going to have to be on bottom, so... Why not? Why not fix it before we make mistakes? That's my motto. Alright. Now the only other thing we got to deal with is getting rid of that bottom tube. You know what? Done. Ah. Uh, Ah, we're not done. There, done. Now I can pipe that up the side just fine. And while we're waiting, we're getting plenty of EMC so we can make the uh, Swift Wolf Rendering Gale when it comes to the time to make it. Okay, so that's going to be the wall. 
You know what? I only need like two transposers in this room. This room's not as big as I thought it would be. Hmm. I'm gonna put a transposer. Let me see what their walls are. Yeah. Put one like right here. And then maybe just one right there. I know that that's overlapping, but. Um. Yeah, that's overlapping, but oh well. Put one right there. It at least it'll collect all the area, so that's that's good. I'm happy with it. And then uh, that's gonna reach right there, so we can put one right here. Meow. Actually, right here. My bad. And right there. Again, overlapping, but oh well. Not really picky at this moment in time. If I was picky, I wouldn't make it like this. But like I said, not very picky. All right, we'll just put that back and that back right there. So it's still a dark room now. And then we'll just put these pipes connected to it. And it's going to go, oopsies. Right, Oh, there's no center part. not gonna look good that way you know what we'll just do this just do it this way it's gonna go right there and I kind of want to make it go over there but do I have enough pipe I don't think I have enough pipe this is gonna go over here why because if this thing overfills we're gonna be in problems very much big problems. So for right now, we're just gonna make it go over here. Maybe, if I could get it right. Do we only have one tube left, the whole? Ah, no way. That's horrible, I thought we had more than that. Well, we're gonna need to use these diamonds. To make another wow I don't even have enough energy for it do I there we go energy condenser and good thing we already have a filter so that's good as well because we're gonna make the energy condenser go right here eee, isn't that awesome it's all glowing and all wonderful and all such stuff I don't know if I should put it right there, but oh well, it'll work. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to put it there. I'm going to put it right there. Sure, why not? That works. Alright, now we need the uh, filter. And we're going to change the filter around a little bit. Is it a small end? Nope. Uh, there we go. That's what we need. That's how it needs to go. Ah, really? How janky. I tried to put it in the right spot and I messed up. There we go. Alright, so what's basically going to happen is, once this red power tube is powered, which, sweet, I don't have to make any more of those, awesome. And actually, I don't really need to, uh, I don't have enough more tubes, I could just attach it to that, because it's the same kind of timer. If I had more half blocks, and if I had my saw with me, which it doesn't seem like I even have that with me, that's awesome. But what's going to happen is all the material is going to go into this chest because it's the closest chest and then it's going to turn into bone mill which is then going to go through here which we're going to actually put bone mill in there if I have any. Which doesn't look like I have any at all. You know what? We have an extra trans table. I'm going to use it. I'm going to put a trans table up here just for the heck of it. Uh, and see if we can get some bone mill. Ah, there we go, bone mill. Alright, so in here, we're going to put bone mill. 
and then on the bottom the, is gonna actually be bone mill going in there and they're all gonna be set up to a timer which let me go make my saw so I can make some more jacketed wire because the jacketed wire comes in handy a lot yeah I haven't used it a lot so it's good to actually use every once in a while Let's see if I can find my saw I'm not making a third saw because I swear I've already made two in this whole process must be up in the top chest it's got to be everything ends up in the top chest Duke 07 says nearby could you please help me with something I'm doing a sky table and I have Thomcraft installed but I have no way of getting crystals should I cheat in a farm of each of the crystals and sacrifice a few dark matter or is there any way of getting crystals without acting actually mining them I reply would be great also I'm glad to see you coming back to trap attack keep it up uh, you are gonna have to cheat them in actually I know it's sad to say but you are gonna have to put them in uh, I don't, I don't know why there's no, like, there should be, a, like, a craftable recipe. Even if it costs, like, a whole bunch, it should be craftable in order to be able to do that. But, uh, it's not. You're actually going to have to cheat them in. That's what I did with my, uh, Sky Tech, which we'll get back to, guys, I promise. I know it's been a while since I've done it. Where did my saw go? Somebody, please answer this question. Where did my saw go? I know one of you guys probably know where it went. And I swear I've checked every single chest that I have. Unless I left it in one of these things. Oh, yeah, apparently I had to leave it in this thing. Nice. Uh, awesome. So you guys knew all the time, didn't you? And you didn't tell me. How horrible of a friend you guys are. Just kidding. You're the, you're the bestest around. Alright. That should be enough, actually. Now we just need, uh, I think it's red wire. Do we need wire, or I think we need alloy ingots. Red alloy ingots. Which, I don't know if we have any. No, we need redstone. Nice. Cook some redstone up. Get a couple of ingots. Make a couple of, uh, of these, uh, stone jacketed wires, and we'll be happy. Captain Oblivious, with Technic, uh, with Luckland, please don't make it a load of blank. Uh, sorry, but it was really boring watching your perspective because of the after the 10th episode You just threw him the stuff to use in craft I feel like you had, could have gotten a lot farther than you did which was upsetting Maybe make a few things that allow both you and Luckland to do together like building and whatnot Yes, I will make sure that he has e or any I installed and we'll use that and I'll just tell him to go to the recipe there And we'll be making stuff side to side. I I do know that it was kind of boring on that end and I am truly sorry about that guys, so I will try to change our ways to make it a little bit less boring on my end because I know it does get boring trust me I know all right so let's do this thank you very much um, captain oblivious that was very <laughs> non oblivious to me all right now that we have the jacketed wire we should be able to reach the other wire hopefully or the the other whatever you want to call it and of course that isn't reaching yet but it doesn't really matter just yet so I'm just gonna do this right there. Isn't that cool? I love that. Love how it just connects easily. All right, now we don't have anything in here yet, which we actually need to make this coming out bone mill. So I'm gonna put bone mill right here, and we put a couple iron in there. And then we're gonna need to make more jacket wire to right there. So that's going to pump bone mill down. And hopefully we should see some flowers coming out. If it works. If not, we're just in trouble. We might be in trouble. Ow. Really, jellyfish? Really, jellyfish. Oh, is the deployer? Yeah, it's getting power. Whoa. Whoa. I did not do that. On purpose. That was awkward. Oh, because there was no grass there. That's why. Durr. Alright, we'll do this the easy way now. Since I totally messed that up. I don't know how I messed that up either. I didn't even see that I had it in my hand. Did I ha really have the destruction catalyst in my hand? Like, is it an invisible destruction catalyst or what? I must have dropped it. No! I did. The one thing I dropped was the destruction catalyst. Well, it wasn't that expensive to make, but I'm glad I got it back. That's all I can say. 
I wish you could get rid of the water. That would help in swimming, wouldn't it? Oh! Ooh, I almost died. Okay, so, now let me turn that right there. I'm gonna bring that up there so I don't use that again on accident. Turn that into grass. Close this area up. That was another thing that I forgot to do. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's not gonna work unless this thing deploys in the right spot. Tool. And it's not getting bone mill because it already cycled through the bone mill. Which is good. Alright, turn that to grass. That right there. And we'll put some more iron in here. How's that? Happy now? It should work now, no problems. Wada bing, wada boom. So what's gonna happen is all those flowers are just gonna go directly into there. It's gonna cycle back through, make more bone mill, and it's just gonna keep doing the same thing over and over again. It's a really cheesy way to get EMC. And by cheesy, I mean awesome way. And we could do this, we could fill it up. I think four is actually the max that you can fill it up, four or six, but basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna create an overflow of uh, bone mill in here, which will then hit, uh, the flowers will start sending over there. But really, what you could do is you could just take the overflow of, uh, you could just take bone mill and uh, bring it over there. Which is what we'll eventually do when that actually builds up. But that's going to create a lot of EMC just from this small little dark room. And this is all automatic. I didn't have to do anything with it. Also, if you need a lot of flowers, like if you're working on bees or something, this is a good way to get a lot of flowers at one time. Not like you would need that many flowers at all, but hey. That is how you make an automatic bone mill maker. <laughs> or dark room, as you could say. So if you didn't get it, four transposers, one deployer, a dark room, a, a uh, energy uh, condenser, and a filter. Really, if you didn't want to, you actually you need the filter. The filter is the easiest way to do it. You could do this. My first attempt at this, when I was live streaming this, I used uh, buildcraft pipes. So you don't actually have to use uh, these pneumatic tubes. You can make buildcraft pipes, but you're going to need engines, which I needed to fuel with... Uh, uh, I think it was, uh, what did I, coal, I think, or charcoal. So I was actually wasting energy that way, when right now all I need is something to tick. And I'm not actually wasting any energy to produce energy, so. And you can see that bone mill is just going up like crazy. And it's going to keep continuing to go up like crazy. And if I wanted to, all I could do is stop this right here. That would stop the flow of it. And then I could take, like, one whole thing out, like, right there, just for backup. And then all I would do is, uh, can you just put in your client star? No, you can't. I'd actually have to put something in there worth something. So I could take, I don't know, say alchemical coal and just throw it in there. And it would go ahead and build up more alchemical coal. This is to say that you have like a whole thing full of, uh, or attorney Alice, my bad. Attorney Alice, uh, say you have a whole thing full, you'd get like a couple diamonds worth. And then we just put the bone mill back in there and we continue the process all over again just by putting this other jacket wire back on it'll keep pumping through over and over again but the problem is guys if you don't have an overflow this thing gets full say you leave your world on and this game thing gets full these these filters are gonna stop working or these uh, transposers my bad are gonna stop working so you need to have at least if you're gonna leave your world on I would advise at least two to three uh, extra condensers to turn stuff into diamonds or else you're just going to be out of luck if you can't get back into your world you'll have to go into like uh, MC edit and delete all entities because you'll have literally so many entities popping up down there because all of these grass and all that when they get popped out of the ground are entities so definitely gonna have to watch out for that we already have two dark matter we need two more and we'll be able to move on to the second thing that we need which is the flying ring and then we can start building our home uh, Red Nos 90 says nearby you can cover the bookshelves with stone brick you use the saw to make the smaller one like so he can see this I do know that uh, problem is it would still stick out and like I said I'm really unhappy with the way that this place is looking just because it just looks boring we I want to build like a huge platform and then we'll have like different places like a place over here and a place over there and then it'll slowly climb up it's just not going to be this huge pillar because right now it's just looking like a pillar which is not good for me 
Aw, oh, it's turning dust too. Good night, farewell, we're off to see the, I don't know, hairbrine? I want more of this stuff is what I want though. It's what I really, really want. Because if we could get enough to make the flying ring, I would be happy enough to actually keep going on. I could go ahead and make another milker, but really, is it worth it? It's kind of worth it, but then is it really worth it? Because then I have to go find another cow or at least an equivalent animal that I can turn into. Well, actually, no. I I have a different way that I can do that now. I can use the chicken bike and just pop out eggs and then finally just throw the eggs in there and turn them. So I could make another one of these really, well, I don't know how fast it would be, but really fast. Probably in this episode, I can get another one of these done. Hmm. I'm debating. I really am. Should I do it? I think I should. Well, I know what I could do right now. Alright, we're gonna have to charge this up a little bit. I did not mean to do that. Good thing we have the destruction catalyst with us at this prior time. Because I don't want to have to get that all done myself. Alright, now we just need torches because I know what's gonna happen around here without torches. Oh, do I not have a torch? There we go. Torch. Torch for some soup? How's that? How many torches do I get? Eight torches for soup. Really? You figure you get quite a few more for... And it's funny, I'm like almost halfway down on hunger and I threw away the torch, or the uh, soup. So nearby. Alright, so now I need more brass to make more pneumatic tubes. Let me make sure I know how to make brass. It's been a while. Oh, It's uh, something in the alloy furnace. I think it's uh, tin and copper in the alloy furnace. Make brass. Let's see if I'm right. Hmm? Hmm, guys? Let's see if near the old Nerbster's right. Also, uh, I mentioned on my uh, Twitter and my Facebook about having, like, a nearby uh, talk session, vocal meet and greet since you know we all live in different places but I have a team speak where we can actually meet and greet and talk to each other so uh, how do you guys think of that do you think that's gonna be a cool thing to do or what uh, I think it's gonna be interesting but I would really love to have your guys's opinion on that so uh, I'm thinking about like maybe this Saturday just getting on team speak and just having a, a meet and greet and just talking to the fans and see what you guys's opinions are on maybe if I need to change anything up in my uh, my let's plays maybe if you guys have better things that could be doing could be doing could be done with the let's plays i have this copper and i really uh you know what we i'm gonna wait until i get the the macerator that's really really fast before i do anything with that i guess i can waste the dark matter i really didn't want to but i guess i can gold gold Can I get anything with just one piece? I just need the awesome thing that I need. <laughs> that makes perfect sense, right? I just need the awesome thing. Remember the awesome thing? No one remembers the awesome thing. Can I burn that? No, of course not. Uh, I can't burn redstone. See, if I burn that, it's going to be too much, I think. I'm looking for copper is what I'm looking for. That's what I'm wanting, copper. Let's see what I have in this bag of wonderful delicious stuff iron iron's not gonna give me copper is it one piece of iron one piece of iron one piece of iron over here and tin over here no of course not I know I've learned copper before I swear I have I'm gonna laugh my butt off if I haven't and I'm sitting here going ah oh, this is how you make it no no this is how you make it and it seems to see I be like I have all modified items but nothing useful in there uh, there we go that should be enough stuff some nether rack yeah some of that some of that some of that and that how about some of that you want some of that how about this you want that hmm you won't take the pick you'll take some of that I know that some of that that how about stairs you like stairs Ooh, half blocks? Yeah. 
If we've already learned this stuff, we should be seeing copper right now. So apparently we have not learned copper yet. Oh, but we have some right here. So uh, let me see if I'm right or wrong. What do you guys think? Am I right? Ooh, I'm so right. We have not learned copper yet. That's horrible. To not learn copper at this point. Alright, so let's see if I'm right by this. Put some of that in there and that in there. And what do we make? Please don't say bronze. We want brass. Come on, brass. Come on, brass. Give me some brass. Brass. That's what I was wanting. And I can't learn this stuff, can I? Nope. That's the problem I come up along, is you can't learn that stuff. You actually have to uh, dig down and make it yourself. So we'll burn some of that and get some more glass. Why not? Why not just get a whole bunch of these tubes? Also, I want to be a lot more organized, like I said, so we're going to be building a whole chest room. Uh, well, not a whole, like maybe ten chests, and we're going to make them the... Do we have the iron chest? I don't think we have the iron chest mod. Kinda. I like the iron chest, kind of. Uh, no, I don't. Iron scaffolding? What's that used for? That's interesting. I didn't know there was such a thing of iron scaffolding. Alright, so, uh, we'll see how much brass we got. Again, gotta get used to this keyboard, guys. Again. There we go. 24 of those. So we'll just come in here, split this up, put the glass in the middle. Oh, yeah. Tons of tubing. Now we just need redstone tubes. Uh, put some gold in there. Some redstone. There we go. Now we should be able to make what we need. That right there. To that. To that. Alright. And like I said, if we build them close enough together, we only need one timer to tick everything. So we just have to make sure that they're pretty close together. And we can keep one timer for everything. Luke for Lucas says, Nearby, you're going to do that series with Doorsteps of Tartarus with Deadman775. At the last episode, you said that you were going to make a series of it. Please respond. Uh, he said he was too busy, guys. He said he had a lot of stuff on his mind. I would love to. Plus, it's also Tech It, and we're not doing Tech It anymore. So that's another query that I have with that, but pretty much, I mean, so that's one, two, three, four blocks away. So I can actually slap some half, sl half slabs right here so it wouldn't connect with each other. And then I should be still able to, uh, yep, put my tubes right there. Yep, and we'll just have it like that and the ring around it. mocking the exact same thing. We're also going to need the condenser, so I'm going to go come over here and uh, attempt to build another condenser. Condenser. That was easy. Put the condenser in the middle. And then up the sides, we're going to have that side, that side, and that side. Build one out, and then up, up, and away. <laughs> I said up, not towards me. You don't listen to you, pipe. Alright. And uh, then it goes one out on all sides. And then it just keeps going up. We got this. We I learned from last time. My last mistakes. Aw. I had to fall. Didn't have to, but I did. There we go. And uh, that's how we're going to do those. So those are already pre-set up. So now we just need to get the... Uh, hmm, what else do we need? We need a filter. So five filters and uh, four deployers. And we'll be good. Five filters, four deployers. Come in here to our handy dandy room. We already have two filters and three deployers. So we only need one more deployer and three filters. Let's see what the deployer costs again. Piston, some chests, and some redstone and cobble. Oh, piston. Oh, we don't have a chest yet. Ah, come on. 
Let's just exit that stuff out real quick. Throw this all the way around. There's our chests. Alright, piston, redstone, cobble. Alright, we got our fourth deployer. Now we need filter. Three more filters. So, two gold, piston. So we need more pistons, really? Wow. There's our gold. There's our pistons. And I think we already have red dope wafers. Yes, we got four of them. Awesome. Awesome. So we're good. We just need the pistons in the middle. Red dope wafer. Gold. And cobble. All the way around. Alright, we got five of those. Awesome. We're good. We're cooking with butter, is what I was going to say. I think that's what I was going to say. We're cooking with butter. M my J 1212 says, please make a logistics network, crafting the logistics and stuff. Uh, I will, I, actually. I know uh, Crafting Table 3 does that for me, but I, I think I will, because I think that's interesting. That's something that you guys like to see. So we'll put that there, that there, and that there. Uh, actually, that needs to... Yeah, that needs to go that way. Small hole on the backside. Deployer, 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 deployer. And then we just need to put the awning on the bottom. That way, uh... I'll be rich with it. How's that? <laughs> there we go. Put some tin down there. See, that actually works pretty well. Then, of course, uh, we'll need to block these sides off so they don't get touched. No problems right there. And last but not least, we'll need a filter right here. Turn that. All right. So that's going to filter up through there. And need jacket cable. Going up there, probably. Actually, that's going to be in the way. This, that right there is probably good enough. Some of this stuff right there. 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 There and there. All right. Now all I gotta do is set up the milk buckets and get me the awesome thing that we need. All right, so we have the cow bike, we have the dino bike. Where's the rest of my bikes? Tis the question, where's the rest of my bikes? Where's my food, by the way? There it is, there's my food. I was prepared, had it right by me, right beside me. Zignaho11 says, Zignaho. Cobblestone slabs and cobblestone have the same EMC value, so you can make six uh, slabs and three cobblestone, then transmute the slabs so you can keep just doubling your cobble. This gives you a fast advantage in FTB. Yeah, but it's not actually a way that that's approved in FTB. They know that that's there, and that's not actually, that's kind of frowned upon in FTB, supposedly, from what I've he heard about it. So. See, I can do that and then hit that right there whenever I get the chicken. And we'll be good. So now we just gotta get the chicken bike. Which I know we have, don't we? I swear we have the chicken bike. Oh, uh, I think you're thinking of the other... I'll see if I have it, but I think you're thinking of something else. I got the pony bike, which I can use to fly around. Reindeer bike. I swear I had the chicken bike though, because I remember it being on this dino, cow, dragon, pony. It's somewhere. I know I have it. I don't care where it's at, I just know I have it, because I remember messing around with it. I remember goofing around with it. ProKiller289 says, why don't you go to the tropics? We will, guys. It's only been like 20 episodes. 
Uh, it's not in there. Where is it? I swear we had one. I must have lost it, guys. Unless somebody knows where it's at. I must have lost it. Because I only see two bikes that I have. Well, four that I have. We only need one egg, though. Seriously, we only need one egg. Oh, wait, there's a chest up there, isn't there? No, that's not a chest. Hmm. It's really iffy. So since we only need one, we will find a way to get one by flying to the mainland and listening to my viewers that say, Sammy Rock 555, nearby make mobs have a severely reduced chance of spawning when they're f when uh, you are flying. Hope you see this. So, yeah, not going to fly when I see spawn. I really want a chicken. Really? I ran out of stuff already. That's horrible. That's okay. We'll just do this. Take that out of my bag. And retry. There we go. Chicken. Now lay an egg. Lay an egg. It's funny. Slowpoke actually killed the chicken to get an egg to lay. I don't have to do that. I just have to sit here and wait. And follow the chicken around. And hopefully he'll lay an egg. Maybe he's scared of my pony bike right now. He seems to be walking away because of my pony bike. Are you scared? Are you not pony enough for the pony bike? Hmm? Are you not pony enough? Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Keep walking around. Don't look at me. I'm not following you. Turn around. Now I'm going to follow you if you're going to be like that. Butthead. Jelly Bosch says, when I saw the title of the video, I thought, wow, a dark room. That might, must be really cool. But it's just some sort of greenhouse. You're true. You're so true. It does sound awesome, doesn't it? A dark room. It sounds like it's the best room in the world. Maybe you're just shy. Here. I'm not even by you anymore. Oh, did you despawn? No. Okay, cool. You just unrendered. It's cool. I'm happy with unrendering. Just don't despawn. Feels like I'm spying on a chicken. Here. Hold on. <laughs> Come on, chicken. Come on. Lay your perfect, beautiful egg. I only need one of them. I could just steal you. I know. I Technically, I can just take the dino bike and steal you. But I want a chicken to lay an egg. <gasps> Stop de-rendering. Lay an egg. Come on. This is going to be the stupidest video ever if you don't lay an egg. Look at his feet, too. He's just walking around like he's having fun. It's not that hard to just poop out an egg. Come on. Do it. Any time now. We're all just waiting on you. Me and the 6,000 viewers watching. Just waiting on you. You know what? I'm tired of it. Maybe you can lay an egg while on the way there. How's that? Because I'm just going to pick you up with the dino bike. It's not worth the wait. Seriously. You're just not worth the wait. Let me make sure I get the right dino bike. There we go. Oh, you're going to go out in the water and lay one? Really? If you drop an egg right there, I'm going to be so mad. You know what? I'm Jaws. Ooh. Ah. I so went for him. There we go. Got the chicken. No worries. We don't need him anyways. Oh, I didn't build the top side yet. Alright. You better stay right there. Okay? You stay. You don't lay an egg. No! Where are you going, chicken? I need cobble real quick. I'll be right back. Don't lay an egg. Not yet. If I see an egg fall, I'm going to be mad. You know what? We'll just use wood. And then cobble now. I need to get up there so I can put my bridge around it. Or else he's going to be able to jump out. And I don't want him to jump out. Alright, cool. Is there an egg down here? Shy guy, are we? You're one very shy chicken. I will have to say that. Oh! Get on that. It's cool, chicken.
Oh, look, he flew. He floated right in. Ow. I didn't, though. What in the world? Why does all this stuff keep building up in there? I think that's a problem with my inventory and clicking in there for some reason. I don't know why that keeps happening. Let's see. Let's try to get a cow. No, no, no. I saved you, cow. That'll be the only time that you get saved, Moo Cow. The only time. Just remember that. Alright. Now, we need to set up our buckets. So we need to make some buckets. Uh, bucket, 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 bucket. Ah, uh, I needed a bucket, not that. Bucket, bucket. There we go. We got our buckets. So we need empty buckets going up in here. Up in here. Up in here. So we need four empty buckets going up in there. And then out the sides here. If I don't mess it up again. We're gonna need more milk. Can I, can I take the milk buckets before they... I'm just gonna take some buckets from in here and... I guess go up there and milk the cow again. Why not? He deserves it. He's done a good job. Good job, Lassie. Lassie the cow? That makes no sense. Ah, oh, no! You better stay, cow. You better stay. It must be with me clicking inside of it or something. Oh well. Now, let me milk the cow. Please let me milk the cow. We only need four of these. One. Aw, oh, this is too high, isn't it? We had this problem last time. One, two, three, four. We're good now. All we need to do now is put one in there. Not in the deployer. In the dispenser. Or the filter. One in there. One in there. And one in here. Now, last things last, jacketed wire. Do I still have it? Yes, I do. Connect this jacketed wire right here. And of course, it has nothing to pump out, but oh well. We'll just uh, put some, what are we gonna put in there to make wire? Or make, there we go. We'll just have one going up there, how's that? Isn't that awesome? Not really. There it is. Look at that. Oh, so awesome. Now it's going back up. Uh, we need more than that. You know what? I'm just going to waste this. There we go. Now we're spreading spreading our wealth again. And now I need the overflow again. So I'm just going to make the overflow come out here. To right there. And have that come down as well. So there we go. We got three EMC making machines. That's what we got right there. All, oh, look at all of those. Hmm, plenty. Plenty. So when we come back to the world, we'll be making tons and tons of EMC. We'll have enough for everything, including our dark matter that we're looking for, and all that. Uh, one last thing. The Gamboid Kid says, stop using your pickaxe for other things. I think this whole episode, I've used my copper pickaxe for everything not necessary. Isn't that awesome? I'm so sorry, bro. I'm so sorry. Next time, I'll remember not to have a pickaxe on me. How's that? But I hope you like this. We have two equal machines right here, pumping the same thing out, doing the same work, and it's working. So, And we could have three or four if we wanted to. Actually, I've heard that you can use a builder to build the exact... Oof, really? To uh, get the schematics of the exact same thing, just give the items to the builder and it would build it for you. Tell me if that's true down in the comments below, and we'll try to do that next episode. Maybe get a couple more of these set up, just automatically building for us, and then starting while well, we'd have to put the cows in there. I'm pretty sure it couldn't place cows in there, but other than that, I mean, look at that. We got two EMC making machines just flowing and glowing, and then we have the flowers. How are these flowers doing anyways over here? One last check before we leave. Look at that, guys. Look, look at how much EMC that we could have right there. All I gotta do is put like a diamond in there. 
and we can have tons. Not only that, whenever it starts to overflow, it'll come right down here to this one, and we'll just keep making and making and making and making and, and breaking the world is what we're gonna do. We're gonna break the world with EMC making machines. And then we're gonna build our huge, fantastic place. And with the underground, guys, we're gonna have an underground world. Trust me, we will. So, but we have to get rid of this junk over here first, because that's just junk right there. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the epic episode. Well, it hasn't been that epic. It will get epicer. That makes sense. Also, actually, you know what? I'll tell you this next time because people are probably not even watching by this point. So, if you're still watching, spam black hole in the comment section below. Later, guys.